Hey Stock Star, what's up? This is Evan. Today I've got a quick video showing you how to make your own Rex loops without having to buy Recycle. Now, this does require a version of Reason. Uh, I think anything over Reason 9 or maybe Reason 10 can do this. Uh, it's a super fast, streamlined way to do it. Even if you don't own Reason, you can get a 30-day free trial of it. So if you've got a bunch of like Rex loops that you want to export, go ahead and do that. I've got a link down below where you can grab your free trial of Reason, um, or you can just use Reason Plus for like $20 a month, as long as you need it, then get done with it. So before we actually show you the method, I do want to invite you to be sure to turn that like button up to 11 to be blessed by the musical gods. And let's hope that these muses continue to make you full of creativity. All right, let's check out what we're dealing with here. I just sort of got a simple old school hip hop loop beat that I've programmed in. Nothing fancy. And we are going to convert that in just a few quick steps into a Rex loop without any external software beyond what we're using right now. Um, if you want to know more about Reason, I've got a full-on cheat sheet. You can click the link down below to download it. It'll really help you get up to speed with using Reason. But for now, I'm going to show you the trick. So we've got this MIDI file here. And this would also work the same way pretty much with an audio file. I'll show you exactly how that's different. But the first thing we need to do is convert this MIDI file into audio. So we're going to take this clip here, right-click it, and hit Bounce in Place. Boom bap, you've got a audio file. So if you were using an audio recording, like a guitar part you'd played or whatever, you'd be starting from this second stage here. You would have this audio file. Now, in order to convert it into a Rex loop, this next part is really important. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a bunch of questions being like, well, it didn't work for me. And the reason it's probably not going to work for you is you didn't have the slice edit button pushed. You have to have the slice edit button down for this to work. And you'll know the slice edit button is down when you see these little flags above the beats. So by default, Reason is basically analyzing where the transients are and assigning what would be Rex loop points to these spots. Unfortunately, there's no way to adjust the sensitivity of this automatically, but you can go in and manually change these Rex loop points. So let's say, oh, we don't really want this little quiet part here. So I click to select it, hit delete, and I'm not deleting the audio. I'm just deleting the little flag on it. And let's say I want another hit right here. Well, I've selected the pencil tool and I'm gonna go over here, click, boom. So you get to draw in your own edit points with the audio file. Now, once you're done with your edits, I hit escape to get out of it. What happened? Oh no, we lost the flags. If we don't have the flags, if we're not in slice edit mode, we cannot bounce to Rex loop. So be sure that slice edit is still clicked down, flags are still up, you right click and you go to bounce. You'll see now there's a sub menu and you say bounce to Rex loop. A new Rex loop will become pop up, and now I've got an instance of Dr. Rex right here. It's um, there's no patch in it, so now if I just drag it over, turn off autoplay. Now we got a Rex loop. And you can see, even there's that last slice there. So, hope you found this helpful. Like I said, be sure to turn the like but button up to 11. <laughs> Not the like button, but the like button up to 11. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more great tips on how to use Reason and Propeller Head software and just to make music in general, how to license it. And I wish you a fantastic day.